This video is about changing the engine oil on a uh, 17 kilowatt Generac Guardian Series generator. Let's check it out. It's got a V twin engine, 992 cc's. It's about 32 horsepower. Runs on um, propane. On the right here is a uh, computer uh, control console. I'm not sure what all the features are, but I know that the generator does come on once a week for about 15 minutes, and um, and when the power goes out, the generator will automatically come on and stay on until the power comes back on. And right here, you can uh, you can turn this control controller off, and you can uh, manually start the generator. But anyway, um, first thing. Uh, need to do to change the oil is to warm this thing up so that uh, contaminants in the oil get suspended and, and flow out with the used oil. So we'll do that now. After you get the engine warmed up, make sure you switch this to the off position before you start uh, doing anything. Um, last thing you want is this thing to come on while you're while you're changing the oil. Um, first thing to do is remove this front panel. It's real simple; just lift and pull. Also, I'm not sure why this says inspect battery. The battery voltage might be a little low. Um, we'll have to check that after, but. Right here's your oil filter, and the drain plug is just this hose. You just uh, undo this end piece, um, and then up top here is your oil fill cap, and here's your dipstick. And uh, the oil capacity for this engine is um, a 1.7 quarts with the oil filter change, so. I'll uh, start doing that now. Okay, the first thing you need to do is get your drain pan. Get it as close to the generator as possible. Take this, uh, this drain hose and uh, unscrew the end cap. And the oil should start flowing out. Uh, it doesn't come out very fast, but... And then once this drains, um, replace the filter. Once you get all the oil drained out, make sure you reinstall the cap on this oil drain hose and uh, tighten it. You don't want oil leaking out. Now that we got all the oil drained out, we can work on the oil filter. Uh, for this oil filter, I'm going to use a piece of paper to catch what oil I can so it doesn't make a big mess. And hopefully it goes into this drain pan. Just unscrew this uh, filter. off. Take your new filter. Take the old filter. Uh, put them end to end to lubricate that new um, new seal. This seal. On the old, on the new oil filter, so it uh, doesn't bind when it's going on, and it helps it seal. But before you put it on, fill it with oil. I'm using Valvoline 30 weight. In the winter time, when it drops below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, you can go to a 10:30 weight oil.
After you get your oil filter to where the, the seal is just touching the, the base of this, um, where it mates with the engine, you want to turn this filter three quarters to one turn to tighten it. That's three quarters of a turn, and that's uh, just using my hands. You shouldn't have to use a wrench to tighten these things. After you get your filter on and tightened um, three quarters to one turn, you can add the oil, new oil, remove the filler cap. Uh, it holds 1.7 quarts. And periodically check the oil level with the dipstick so you don't go over. Almost there. That's about it. After you get the engine filled with oil, reinstall your oil filler cap, reinsert your uh, the dipstick, uh, run the engine for a couple of minutes, um, then power down, check for any leaks, uh, check your oil filter for leaks, check your drain plug uh, hose for leaks, Re then recheck your oil level. Um, if it's good, you're done. If it's not good, uh, add some oil until it's full. I had to add a, a few ounces to this thing to get it to the full mark. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is uh, before you start doing this it's always important to clean the engine um, to have a clean work area because you don't want dirt and debris getting into your new oil and then getting into the engine. Um, it's a little hard with this generator because it's not portable but um, at the very least you can wipe things down and, and uh, uh, get it as clean as possible before you start working. Anyway, thanks for watching.